Guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your firmware and operate Zen Studios. Okay, look, I know a lot of you guys are lost and you guys are probably brand new to the Zen. And I'm going to just break down everything you guys need to know about setting up your firmware, having Zen Studios on your PC, and how to navigate everything, how to add scripts, everything, guys. Okay, so unplug everything first. Okay, first things first, you're going to unplug everything. You're going to grab your Zen. You're going to grab a USB C wire that comes with the Zen, and you're going to plug this into your PC. So, literally, guys, I have my Chrono Zen right here, and I have my wire plugged into my PC. Okay, you guys see this right here? Right, USB-C. This can fit into the top and it can fit into the right side. If you have an older Zen, guys, upgrade your Zen ASAP, buy a brand new one. If you guys need to buy a brand new Zen and have it programmed for you, we can do that for you down below in the description. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is head over to Zen Studios. Now, if you don't know how to download Zen Studios, I'll put the link to download it down below in the description. Literally, guys, first things first, when you open up Zen Studios, it's going to say Chrono Zen not found, when you don't plug anything in. Over here, you're going to see Launch Update Tool. You're going to click it. There we are. So, next thing you have to do, guys, grab your Zen. Okay, you're going to see a little blue button at the back. You're going to press and hold hold that blue button and then while you're holding it you're going to plug it into the top you'll see zen bootloader and a little noise will come from your pc your device should show up over here if it's not showing up guys change the port that your uh your zen is being plugged into on your pc that is going to be the biggest game changer you have to change it uh, until it can find the device so now we're here guys literally don't touch anything just click continue and begin update that's it literally that's it okay make sure you're up to date it's super important especially for ps5 users that you guys are up to date so you guys can do the bypass right so we're just gonna wait for it to finish and i'm gonna go through zen studios how to add scripts and how to make sure everything's set up right so right here you're gonna click x now guys you're gonna unplug it and plug it in on the right side okay the right side is gonna be for zen studios now look this is a pair a lot of people have okay see my zen is supposed to be detected it's not what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in see now it's detecting now to know it's detected so to know your zen is detected by zen studios programmer tab will open up you'll be able to click programmer tab and you'll be able to click device tab i think you can always click device tab but 100 programmer tab you can if you can't click it then you're not you're not connected now guys look you have the library here on the left don't really don't look over these scripts and all honestly these scripts a lot of them are old outdated and they really don't work that well best scripts are going to be the ones that are in my vip or my free ones that are also down below in the description you guys can see a couple free scripts down there also if you go to the program Programmer tab and hover where look where my mouse is the Zen, the Zen game packs, they're really good. I have a tutorial guide dropping for the BO6 beam. It's a really good game pack. You guys can just scroll down over here. I prefer looking at newest tab and looking what are, what is the most up to date game packs. The, the most up to date game packs are always the best ones. Um, so if you're looking for the best Chrono Zen scripts, values, and support, welcome to our VIP. We are the number one Chrono Zen VIP support group. I'm gonna break down these tiers, but before we do that, if you have any questions throughout this explanation, man, shoot me a text on WhatsApp or iMessage. This is my number over here. And to show you guys, we are the number one community, man. This is our vip discord server that you could access to as soon as you join we have over 9,000 members our vip chat is active pretty much all day as you can see our mods are active answering questions um we have testimonials over here that i'm going to show you a couple right now you guys can see some of the testimonials i'm going very impressed tried the values wasn't expecting this so many testimonials um and as you guys can see over here the scripts are going to be all over here on the left and then we also have our ticket support as you guys see all these tickets are people that are you know asking questions our mods are answering them and giving them support now let's just break down the the tiers real quick so the first tier is the vip scripts and values this is the monthly tier so you're paying pretty much every single month to get all the updates because we do updates every single month for the scripts values and our support this is our most popular tier however most people after month one or month two typically upgrade to lifetime because we've had people in our discord since 2022 this is our most popular tier guys it's the lifetime vip because it's a one-time payment and most people who join monthly normally opt in for the lifetime vip because they notice how much value we have to offer and rather than paying every single month you get lifetime access like guys i have members from 2021 who are still active in the discord so this is definitely the best it is limited though just because it's such a popular tier the custom scripts tier is going to give you a custom eclipse script fully plug and play you get two loadouts for your console for your in-game settings fully plug and play anti vehicle alongside the aim assist and this one over here is the ultra vip this is the tier that if you want chronos and support now one-on-one -on -one call today or tomorrow this is going to be for you this is for our most premium members man you get the best support with this tier now guys i want to see you in there and if you have any questions like i said man shoot me a text i'm telling you man text me hey you can even call me okay you can even call me and ask me any questions that you want in case you were thinking about joining okay guys i'll see you in there so those are the ones you want to rock okay now look if you find a game pack you like so as you can see i have the bo6 b movie i'll put this in the garbage so literally guys like if okay so i'll show you so if you guys want to add a game pack of the bo6 beam you click and drag it into one of these empty slots so you have eight slots i'm going to put it into slot number four you're going to click close over here if let's say i don't like i don't want let's say i don't want the bo6 mirror let's say i don't want this what, what game pack is this? the rampage if i don't want any of these scripts, i can click 
and put it into the garbage can. Boom. And then if I want to program my Zen, I can press this flashing button right over here to program it with all the updated scripts. Another thing, guys, device tab. It's super important on the device tab that you leave it on output protocol auto. Uh, some of my past tutorials, I go over the specific output protocol, which is kind of outdated now. Leave it on auto. It will detect your device. If your script is having any issues, guys, uh, and your, your Zen is bugging out, you can head over here and do a factory reset as well. That will reset your Zen. You have to re-add all the scripts, but it will really help if your Zen is kind of bugging out and it's not like, you know, scripts are not operating the right way okay now with that being said guys that's everything about programming your zen adding scripts on that's everything you guys need to know um i will say one more thing guys if you do download a script so as you can see my compiler is packed with scripts so if you guys do download a script from my discord or from my paid section or from my free section once you download the script guys head over to file head over to open look for your downloads folder and you'll see all the gpc scripts you can click and then open it and it's going to show up over here to add this onto your zen like how, how we were going to program our zen before you go to programmer tab and then you hover over here okay that's where you're gonna click and drag put it into one of the empty slots and then program okay with that being said guys yeah, that's everything man i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you all in the next one man if you have any questions about the zen you guys can reach out to me and i'll love to help you out okay with that being said man, that's all for me i'll see you all in the next one